how to make the vacuum bell work for you. I see some people starting to use the vacuum bell and they just give up. They're afraid sometimes. Maybe they think they're it's not gonna work for them. But the reality is, if you give up, there is zero chance even to know if you can improve with it. Because uh, we have to face it, it might be harder for some people than for others. I mean, not only because of age, children in adolescence usually have better results faster but adults can have results as well but it might take more time might take more effort because adults chest bones are stiffer so if you're a child if you're an adolescent or if you're an adult how to make the vacuum bell work for you first you you can't be afraid of it i mean i see some people saying this um on reddit for example I started using the vacuum bell and um, I stopped it because it seemed to uh, my it, it seems that my pectus is, is sinking more it, it's deeper and if you have measured it if you have measured your pectus if you use a vacuum bell and before using it you measured it and now you're measuring it and it is really deeper maybe you should be worried but there are some other things here if you train your chest, your chest muscles are going to grow much faster than you can improve your pectus excavatum's depth with a vacuum bell. That doesn't mean you should not train your chest. I'm just saying. Another thing is, if you did not measure it, you can't really tell if it's really deeper right now. It can seem deeper because you've seen it. Maybe you've seen it redified word man straight maybe you've seen it your, your chest straight and when you compare it back it's it, it really is gonna seem like it's deeper now that said uh, maybe it really went a little bit deeper but we, we we don't have enough information for this stuff so I can't say no you you're lying it didn't get deeper maybe it did but if you have pictures if you have measurements that you can show that would be great i mean when i started using the vacuum bell i started the first thing the first thing i did was measure it and see how things were going because i really wanted to know if it was going to be effective i didn't know i wanted to try and my thought process and that uh, and now we're getting into how to make the vacuum bell work for you uh, the mentality you need to have is how do I make this work for me? Not will this improve my pectus, will this um, fix my pectus excavatum? You have to think how can I use this tool to improve my pectus excavatum, to improve my chest's aesthetic? And that is what people that indeed have results with vacuum bell and doing other things that's the kind of thought they have because the vacuum bell is only a tool and i believe that the vacuum bell for itself you shouldn't rely on it only on the vacuum bell you should do more things exercises compression you have to stimulate your bones and cartilages with consistency for you to have results for you to improve your pectus and there's another thing if it, you can use a vacuum bell for one year and you stop using it and oh my gosh i don't see results if you do the nut surgery and you take the bar out after one year the probability of it sinking back is enormous it has to stay more time because bone take time to adapt to remodel itself it has its time we can't do nothing about that and if you're impatient it's not gonna happen if you're afraid of things I mean um, I understand that I had fears about using the vacuum bell but I just went for it the vacuum bell left the stain I'm gonna call it stain okay I'm not talking about the mark of wearing the vacuum bell I'm talking about that that color right it changed color a lot of people are afraid about that but it goes away and you can avoid that as well and it has a lot to do with the pressure and the time you're using the vacuum bell 
like staying with it for four hours. I did that. I wore the vacuum belt for four hours straight. That's not something I do today because I wanted to find out what would work best for me and share that with people. So the best thing you can do if you want to use, if you want to use the vacuum belt and you want to have results is do not rely only on the vacuum belt. Do not be afraid of using it. Be patient and have the mindset of how do you make that work for you? Because stimulus is what's going to make your pectus excavatum improve. And the vacuum bell is a tool for that. So you need to stimulate your bones and cartilages for a lot of time. It's not something that's going to happen in a week, a month, maybe not even a year. So you have to be patient. I can do this for years. I can do this for 20 years till I die. I don't care if it takes me 10 years, 20 years to get my chest as straight as possible. I'm going to do that. That's the mentality you need to have. All that said, if you have pectus excavatum and it's really deep, and it affects your health, you should look into that. I'm talking about people that are more concerned about the aesthetic side of pectus excavatum. I know the title is how to. I mean, there are some strategies that you can apply that I, that I apply. I use the vacuum bell um, a lot less than I used to. The how to would be use the vacuum bell, be patient, and do not use a, a really high pressure. Use a medium pressure. I do not use the vacuum belt without this. I don't go above 150 mm Hg. I don't. I, I already went above it and that's why the stain appeared for other reasons as well. But um, for most people, uh, going above that, it's, it's use, useless. It's more harmful than good. Maybe for some adults, you maybe could need to go a little bit above that. But for the majority, it wouldn't be necessary. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching this video. Leave, um, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. If you want to know anything, just let me know and I'll record a video about that.